Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Grow Up. Sorry, I forgot what the game was called for a minute there. And I, there aren't really any things in particular that I want to seek out. I guess the next step would be star plants. We've got two of four, so we're actually making good time on that. Um, but yeah, there aren't any like abilities or power-ups that I'm seeking in particular that we need to go to particular locations for. It's just a matter of uh, going around and collecting crystals and... I think we have most of the tubs. I, I remember there's the ball. Ball mode. Another ability tub. Way down there, huh? Well, I think, I think that's actually it. I think that's ball mode right down there. So I guess we might as well grab it while we're here. We'll probably run across a few crystals, too, while we're at it. Let's do a sort of a halo jump here. And that's why I don't use ball mode, because ball mode, um, it gives, it, it lets you go faster if you turn into Sonic the Hedgehog bot. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, I'll stick to flying. Yeah, you know what? I don't blame you. Um, so you can, like, charge it up, and then you get a big old boost, but it's a lot harder to control. And I never use it, because the only other utility it really has is, as far as I can tell, you do not take fall damage. Uh, which you also don't take fall damage either if you deploy your glider. Oh, yes, there it is. Now our glider has a boost. Um, if you deploy your air brake or your glider close to the ground, you also don't take fall damage. So I never really got much use out of the ball mode, unfortunately. Kind of neat, though. Really? Nothing up here? Oh, okay, there is something up. There it is. I think that's another pod challenge that I'm hearing. Oh! You can actually... The, the pod challenge and the teleroutor to make a different sound. But I can never... I can never keep straight which is which. But I think that one's the, uh, the pod challenge. The uh, teleroutors are the higher pitch. Yep. <laughs> Ballistic bud. Boing. Bouncy. I agree. It says there's a crystal. Where is there it is? Let's do that pod challenge while we're here. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. No big deal. No worries at all. Wasn't even close. Not in the least. See, it wants us to bounce on the lily pads here, but now I have my my powered glider, so I don't have to. But let's do it the intended way, just for fun. And I don't know how much my ninja suit affects my bouncy, like the jumps affected by bounce, rather than... You know, just standard jumping. But it might make these a little more difficult because it sends me farther and makes it harder to control myself. But I think we'll be alright. Hmm. 
Not a problem at all. Still got a minute left. Uh-oh. See, I even uh, gave myself a handicap. Yeah, that's what that was. Easy game. Hooray! Let's go find the uh, the crystals now. I thought it was cute, but very strange that the bugs, like, hum to themselves. Oh, I heard it. There it is. Okay. So our next one is 80. Goodness. Well, I think we've got all the uh, the mom parts for this area. All the shit parts. So, let's see. Let's move on to a new biome. This is nice, too. Just gliding over the landscape. Crystal. This looks promising. Seems to be on this island here. Yep, it sounds like it. But I don't see it, so maybe it's on the underside. Or inside, possibly. Yeah, I think it's inside, actually. I think we gotta use this guy. Ugh. Just concuss ourselves real quick. It's fine, it's part of the game. Bud doesn't really have a brain to concuss himself with, so that's fine. I mean, he's he's got a you know a robot brain, but not like an actual physical organ brain. He's got a CPU, but not a brain that he bashes against a skull to concuss. Come on. Just picking crystals like vegetables. This game is very strange. A lot of games are very strange in their own fun, quirky little ways. Is it over here? Well, at least there is one over here. Nope. No, it's gone now. I'm confused. Where did it go? Ah, there it is. Gimme. Perfect landing. Oh, oh, oh. Poor dismount, though. Oh. Rip, bud. It's not really a penalty for dying though, so hooray! Where is this? There's a there's a crystal? Probably up there if I had to guess. Uh there's a fluter, if we really need one. No, doesn't seem to be here. Interesante. Perhaps it's inside the mountain? I swear, like, there are times when I think I hear a crystal, but it's not a crystal and there's not even one nearby. Oh, 
I hear it. There it is. Excellent. Where's the next one? There. See, having the crystal locator makes things nice and easy. Hey, I think this is back at the, uh, the Champlain Meadows. This is the starting area. Is that a crystal or is that something else? That is a crystal. Okay. There are, like, bugs with little blue shells. Like that guy down there. Off to the left, or the right, rather. Dang it, I did it again. This guy. I keep seeing these things from a distance and thinking they're crystals. Alright, see you later, I guess. I didn't mean to throw him like that, but... It'll be alright. Now, it says there's another crystal. And it's definitely off in this direction. It's a very broad direction. Or not. Perhaps it's over here. Crystal? We are getting closer. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's another one pretty close by. Nope, not that way. I think it's, I bet it's like inside here. Need to find an entrance somewhere. Oop. There we go. Oh, is this the zero G cave? No, thankfully. There's a, a cave here where things just sort of float around. And uh, it's kind of difficult to navigate. Wow, we're already at almost half the crystals. Dang. Is that the... I think that's the Champoline Star... Star Plant. Star Plant is, like, the easiest name to remember, and yet I consistently forget what they're called. Well, not consistently, but repeatedly. Easy. Yeah, that one, that one was like at the very beginning. That was like the first pod challenge we saw. Like, uh, yeah, there, there's the... There's an island that we were at in episode one. This is the pathway, and that over there in the background, that's the mountain that we started out next to. Right, this is the starting island here. There's our tub, where we gained the ability to... I guess that was our first jetpack? I actually don't remember now. I think that was our first jetpack. But anyway, yeah, we saw that earlier, and only now that I have the extra powerful jetpack did I feel confident enough to actually try and take it on. Because that one is weirdly difficult, although I could also just be weirdly bad at it. That is definitely a possibility. Crystal? No crystal. My database tells me you can now, uh, you can dry paddles to make tea. It also tells me it doesn't taste great. You know, I'm not surprised. <laughs> they they look very rubbery and awful to make tea out of. I don't know how you would like process those. 
They seem like they would be very obnoxious to try to grind up into tea. And I suppose when you think about it, if you're determined enough, you could probably make tea out of just about anything. If you can grind it up fine enough, you can make tea out of it. Well, maybe that's not true. Maybe it needs, like, juices. But most plants, I'm sure you could make tea out of, if you were determined enough. There's another one nearby, somewhere. But it's kind of over in the... Oh, there it is. I was wrong. Crystal? Yay, Crystal. I know there are a few around here that we didn't get around to. Might as well grab those while we're back in the area. Kind of didn't mean to meander over in this direction, but... C'est la vie, I suppose. It's those gamer instincts telling me to go get the shinies. Oh, hey, fishies! Look at that! We don't see those very often. Okay, more crystal? Give me the crystal! Oh, I guess while we're here we might as well do pods challenge. I really don't like doing the catapult things, so I'd rather not bother. It's fun to jump around on the pads. It is not fun to deal with the catapults. Their physics is particularly unphysics. That was a sentence. Maybe. I guess not technically, no. <laughs> it, was, it was something approximating a sentence, anyway. Cool, another one down. And another crystal? Looks like it's over here. Probably in there. The geology on this planet is very weird. Like, how, how, there's floating rocks everywhere, first of all. And second of all, most of them just seem to have random holes in them. Like, it doesn't look like it's erosion, it's just random holes. Guess we might as well explore the other ice cap, since we're here. Ugh! It's fine. He's fine. Sorry, bud. Bud, my scan shows ship parts somewhere on that mountain. Or perhaps my scanner has frozen again. No, I'm pretty sure you're correct. There, There is indeed a ship part here. Oops, I forgot we already got that. I usually do the first one, the, the northern ice cap first, and then the second one. Because that's the, the order I happened into it. Uh, the first time I played it, but this time I decided getting the, uh, the crystal scanner was a higher priority. See? They, they glow! Like crystals! There it is. Crystal? Crystal! Just need one more for the next upgrade. Whatever that is. I 
Looks like there may be a crystal around here. No, nope, seems even farther than that. Maybe over here. There it is. Sweet, crystal and a telerouter. Two for one. Always a always a good deal. The battery's almost at max, bud. Hooray! More battery, that's always nice. And you say almost, like I don't have to collect another 70 crystals to get it there. Now there was a pod challenge. Let's go and do the pod challenge. And there's another one. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I keep forgetting just how all over the place they are. There's another one. There's another crystal up there I saw. I think we might be able to get it on the way. See, this also leads me to think that the game wants you to explore this one first, because this one doesn't require the glider. Like this pod challenge, but the other one basically did. Or at least as close to requiring anything as this game does. Oh, oh. It's fine. Not even close. I definitely didn't panic there. It's fine. Yes, the scan sit part. Your scans show a ship part. <laughs> Stop, bud. Please. Okay, good. Now, well, I guess the crystal's over in this direction. I figured it would be. That's a fairly decent-sized island. Uh, which way do I go? I guess I go this way. We'll take care of the teleporter in a minute. Take care of the crystal in a minute, too. I saw it up there. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Sweet. That looks like that was the only crystal on this island. Works for me. Teleporter. Guess let's head on over there and, uh, and grab that ship part. There we go. I hear another crystal. There it is. It's dark up here. Not that I'm afraid, of course. Let's grab that ship part and get moving. It's alright. You can fly around over to the sun. And I guess if you're solar powered, it kind of makes sense that you'd be afraid of the dark. It's this 
two more ship parts now? I think there were three and now there's two left. Yep, two left. Awesome. Let's uh let's see if we can clear out this these islands here and then we'll uh we'll call that an episode. I think that's a nice place to end it. We'll I'll get the crystals anyway. I think we'll do the uh the pod challenges on the next one. Nope, no. Whew. That's all right. We did it. Uh, are there any more on this island? Yes. It appears that there are. Or there is one, at least. I heard it for a second, I think. Let's get the Stilla router. And then I'll check that cave that I saw over there. Works for me. Crystal? Does not appear so, but there is a meat toy. It's our little toy sheep. Well, it, the creature is called a meat in this world, apparently. Where is this crystal? Like, up at the top here? No, apparently not. I hope it's not, like, underneath, on the bottom of the island. Whoop! Maybe this will lead to something. Nope, apparently not. I don't know, maybe Pot can help. Oh. Was that just the meat cave again? I think it was. No, maybe not. Oh, it was. Oh. It's just like right there. Unless that's another. No, that is the crystal. Cool. See another one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll just recharge. Apparently there's another one close by. I'm worried that it's underneath again. There are a couple of them that are like on the undersides of these islands. Especially in the polar regions. In fact, I think I saw it around here. Oh, I hear it. But not where I expected it to be. There it is. No! It's fine. With our gliders, losing our, our footing and slipping down is not, not a big deal. At least not as much as it used to be. Okay, I think that's, wait, is it? Is there another island, or another crystal on this island, rather? Maybe up there? No, doesn't seem to be. What? Now I'm just confused.
find every ship part and get to the moon. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. Ugh, I have to fight the urge to get every crystal I see. If it's not on this island here, then we'll call it quits. It looks like it might be on this island. There it is. Gimme. Awesome. Okay. I think that's a, that is a good place to cap it off for this episode. Uh, we made quite a bit of progress. I'm pleased with how quickly this is going. Uh, I don't... I, I think this will be a lot shorter than I expected it to be. I think doing half-hour episodes is helping, too. Um, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and find uh, the last two ship parts in the upcoming episodes. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to find all the crystals after that, but uh, it's looking like it may not be too long, especially if I start cutting out all the bits of me just, like, flying around the planet just desperately looking for any signs of crystals. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep it going on the next episode. So until then, see you later.